All right, we are coming up on the Sea Ray Pavilion. All right, we're heading into Sea Ray. Sea Ray is a fantastic boat platform. It's the boat that I started off on. And great boat. We had a 290 SDX. Thanks God, we changed to uh -huh. Boston Whaler because I mean, we switched to Boston Whaler after that, yes, because we wanted to go offshore. Because so. it doesn't, it doesn't sink. It doesn't sink. It's it doesn't unsinkable. Sink, so yes. Really yes. Okay, silly. I was telling you. So that. we started with the 290 SDX. Mm -hmm. Actually, here it is. Yes, that is the one. Yep. Then you have. 276,000. When I met you, yes. and we started today, and after we were married. This was our first video yes. going to the Bahamas. Yes. And my baby wanted to change something. I said, guess what? Yep. This is beautiful. I like It's very sexy. It's beautiful and everything. Shoes. But, Shoes. but I don't feel that safe. So he yeah. showed me the Boston Whaler. The Boston Whaler, and I was like, Oh my gosh. Yes. When they told me it doesn't sink, I was okay, I want this All one. All right, that's what I want, doesn't sink. Now, Boston Whaler doesn't sink, you feel that it's strong, but the design is not that beautiful. Right. Like Sea Ray is like, you, you can see that it's more beautiful. Sea Ray is very well appointed, it's yes. beautiful, yes. it's nicely sculpted. Yes. Uh, so. But Boston Whaler, which Sea Ray is owned um, by Brunswick which mm -hmm. also owns Boston Whaler. And they, you know, produce both of these boats. And so you're starting to see some of the Boston Whaler craftsmanship mm -hmm. work its way into the Sea Ray as far mm -hmm. as like brackets and material selections and things like that. So they're stepping up the quality of the Sea Rays um, and bringing over some of those Boston Whaler elements, which is really nice mm -hmm. to see. But the Whalers are fantastic boats. The Sea Rays are really beautiful boats i would say we had this exact boat that we're on right now mm -hmm. and the 290 sdx i would say is like a 70 percent lake boat and if you want to take it offshore i took it to the bahamas <laughs> uh, i mean our video now you wonder why is I us in the bahamas safe. yeah <laughs> because we went no, to the bahamas it was, it, i mean the boat was plenty fine in fact yeah. there were other boats that transitioned their people it. into our boat because this boat was safe so it's plenty safe but it just, when you hit, you know, bigger waves, you, you really want it. that yeah. solid feeling yeah. that you get with the foam filled hole with the, uh, the whaler, if you're going offshore. If you're staying on shore, this boat is fantastic yeah. and will do everything you need it to do. And it's beautiful. It's and it's nice. gorgeous. Awesome day on the water. This boat's going to take care of you. And this is the color. And you can even do, you know, the 270, like. um, the all new 260 is phenomenal as well. So you're not going to go wrong if you're, you know, doing maybe a 70-30 mix of um, onshore, offshore. The Sea Ray will get you there in, in nice style. So, mm -hmm. um, in fact, this was where she sat most of the time right there. Yeah, true. Loved it. <laughs> true. So, all right, we will head over and look at some other ones. Well, this is the 290. Great boat. All right, so this is the... 270. You can see it's powered by a single 300. Very, very similar layout to the 290. Again, fantastic lake boat. The difference is, is that this doesn't have twin engines. So that means no joystick capabilities on the boat. But again, plenty of, of space and fun for any sort of lake environments that you might be on. All right, this is the Sundancer 320 upward. A little over a half million on this one. Triple 250s across the back. Really nice boat. All right, so we're heading on to 320, 750 horsepower. Again, the very similar Sea Ray styling cues. The linen carpet, very wide beam. 
dual screens, beautiful cockpit, joystick. Beautiful space across the back. Very, very spacious. You look oddly familiar. All right, heading forward on the 320. Huge bow sun pad. I'll try to go downstairs in just a minute. Apparently, I'm very familiar looking to the uh, Sea Ray salesman. As cool as it is, instead of yeah. the galley being located down in the cabin, they moved it up here. Uh, by doing so, when you inevitably burn something when you cook it, like I do, it all right, heading down. Cabin. It's going to be out here and get that out. Yeah, but it's nice when you're entertaining guests up here and everybody's hanging out. There is a right, cockpit table that mounts right here. Everybody can under enjoy the cabin while you're area here. I'm sure this turns into a berth. Then you've got a sleeping area right back here in which you can so exactly press these so together and it creates a very large sleeping area. That sail shade can be out and keep you guys dry. <laughs> There's a lot of different And then a full bathroom here as well. Incredibly yeah. unique. No. Bow for us who no choice. Yeah. Well, I like it. You can drive that even better. Yeah. It's better than an account. We still have a microwave and a fridge now. All right, cabin heading out of the 320 now. All right, this is the new 370 Sundancer. All redesigned a couple of years ago. So this is the new look. It's about a million dollars. We'll head on here. Twin 600s on the back, so 1,200 horsepower. Sundancer 370. Really large, spacious cabin. This looks beautiful. Look at her. Very elegant and nice space. Yes. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right. Very, very well done. Look, I still have... A lot of space Plenty of space, here. as she's saying, down there to stand. Beautiful cockpit area. Nice wood grain. Let me film going back here. You can see how large this is. All under cover. This is a sunroof area. Okay, we'll head up front in just a little bit. Let me head down. Okay. So you even have a small wow, living room Wow, this is large. Here, my love. This is very large. It's like a small living room here. Yep. If you want to chat for a little yep. bit, you yep. sit when it's very sun, sunny mm -hmm. outside. Yep, you, you can, can sit here relax. and just chill. Look, you still have a lot of space to and you are, yep. you are sit. Yep. So, sit fit. All right, so I'm six foot one and you can see how much space is above me there. Mm -hmm. we're, st we're talking probably this is a seven and a half foot yeah. um, interior, which is unbelievable on a boat. Nice. So here's your full bathroom. And then just a very, very large bow seating area here. That is a problem, baby, to come to a boat show. Is then the next boat is always bigger and better. <laughs> so you. You can you, decide, you get, or if you decide, it's like you need to put more money, and yep. more money, and more money. Now it's you done. get You get two foot itis, which basically means, oh, I just need two feet more, and then I'll be happy. Two feet more, and then I'll exactly. be happy. Exactly. And you always want just a little bit more, a little bit more. And uh, pretty soon, you're a million dollars into a boat, and you're going, how did I get here? Oh, my gosh. So, you've <laughs> sold the house, sold the wife. Bought a boat. What? Oh, sorry, no. I didn't know. Less no, house, you, you, less more, house boat. more boat. That's that is, that it. Is I my, forgot. That is yes. my, my quotes in last year. I That's know. it. Why, what are you waiting? Less house, more boat. Yes. <laughs> Sell the house, buy the boat. <laughs> Love it. All right, heading out. 
Yeah. All right, heading forward on the 370. Again, very, very large area up front. Nice sun pad, lounging, seating area. Just incredibly large. And look at the size of that glass across yes. there. Yush. That's at least eight feet or so of mm -hmm. glass across there. You kind of lose the perspective with the video. This is huge too. Yeah. Same size. Very large. So you can close it all off. Keep all the weather out. Keep all your occupants well protected from the weather when you're out there. Yes. You need help? Can you help me? Yes, of course Thank you so sweet. much. Thank you. All right. Wow. Very, very beautiful. nice. I love it. Thank you. This what is a big boat. For? It's beautiful. Oh, for our YouTube channel? Yeah. This, uh, What's this? <laughs> oh, you want me right, to this is the 350 SLX. All right, this is a 350 SLX. It's the largest in their day boat category for Sea Ray. Comes with the twin 400s. Lots of space in the rear. Sound package. Very similar layout to the 290 that we were just going through a little bit ago. But the nice thing about the 350 is, even though it's a day boat, it has the uh, interior cabin space. This one has a TV and air conditioning. So you can get in there to get out of the weather if you need to. Very nicely appointed. Okay. Joystick, dual screens. So this is a big boat. There. Yep, teak tables up front. We actually, when we originally we're looking at boats a couple of years ago. We originally purchased a 320, which is just slightly smaller than this one. But we were looking at the 320, or no, the 310, sorry, the 310. This one obviously is just a little bit bigger. The beam is about the same, but just an absolutely gorgeous boat. Now the 350, you could easily take offshore. Sunroof up there, you could easily take this one offshore and enjoy a day in comfort and the weight of this boat is gonna just punch right through the waves. Any, really any 35 boat, 35 foot boat would do that. But very, very nice. And they have the new gray color as well, which is new, I think, probably just in the past couple of years. But really nice presence on this boat. You have the hard top as well, so you're not taking tops up and down like we had to do on the 290. All right, we'll head over to the 310. Slightly smaller sibling of this one. All right, this is the 310 outboard in the 430 price range. Comes with twin 400s. Again, just a slightly smaller sibling than the 350. Lots of interior space. Oh. This one has a bathroom instead yep, of a the bathroom. seat area. Yep. Very nice. But it does not have an interior cabin like you saw on the 350, which has a bathroom on one side and then a cabin on the other. This one has more the 290 type interior, but just a larger size. It's a couple feet larger, but it follows the same um, lines. Still a really nice boat. Hard top. So you don't have to worry about taking things up and down. Then you also got sunroof space in there as well. Now you notice the difference, as I pointed out earlier on the Boston Whaler, these are, you know, thin window frames where, although they're capped in stainless, you can see here with the Boston Whaler, the thickness of the steel frame was, or aluminum, was actually about this, maybe an inch and a half thick or so. Is it really, really impressive? This is a solid boat, top of the line for being on the lake. And you could easily take this offshore last year going to the Bahamas. Um, some friends took their 310 all the way to the Abacos 
Um, so very impressive boat, make the trip no problem, just crush right through the waves and just have an absolute blast in this beautiful, beautiful day boat. Okay, we are finishing up our time here at the Miami Boat Show. It's been an amazing day. We saw a lot of amazing boats. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me what do you like or what do you see? Because your expectation was something when we start. So yes. now that you yes. enjoy and you see everything, how do you feel about that? Well, I would definitely say the Miami Boat Show is something that you need to experience. There is practically everything here for everybody. Every manufacturer, every conceivable engine technology and people bringing new things to the show to show their innovation. I think one of the coolest things I saw today was the hydrogen engine from Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Really, really neat technology. I don't think it's feasible yet, but just the fact that that's even being discussed is amazing. And I think maybe someday we'll be able to ride on the water and the water is the actual fuel for the boat at the same time. How spectacular mm -hmm. would that be? Unlimited range and enjoyment. So. And a lot of money safe and gas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget Especially about that. Especially at $4, $5 a gallon, maybe even six or seven when you're in the Bahamas. So, But I think today we saw some amazing boats, uh, definitely from Boston Whaler. Sea Ray had a really strong showing. And of course, Chris Craft is always, always beautiful. The quality of the construction is just absolutely amazing. So has been has was my first time like mm -hmm. being in a boat show with someone like really know a lot about boats and love boats like you oh yeah because i was like okay i didn't know about this so what is this i was learning really a lot because you love boat that is your passion about so mm -hmm. i used to know oh, what is this is pretty i like this but you really know all the you know what is yes. behind that and what is safe and what is better so i, I, yeah. I learned a lot boats you want to be on the water in and definitely in rough seas and then those boats that really should never leave a lake so it's best <laughs> to know what you're buying so always do your yes. research before you purchase a boat know exactly what your use is otherwise you're going to pay too much for features you don't need um, or if you want to go offshore and you didn't get the proper boat then you're going to be in trouble and you're going to oh, find that out really otherwise fast otherwise it's going to be scary and say no i don't feel safe i don't want to travel anymore so yes in that case, if you buy a, a strong boat, like for example, the Boston Whaler, we love that. Yes. It's because we like to go to Bahamas, different places, and it's really, you feel really good and Safe you know, and safe. protected, no matter what comes up, and storms always happen. So anyway, we had a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.